Scrolling views are easy to build in Origami and highly flexible too. We are going to learn how to use scroll by creating this basic messenger prototype. Make sure you download the files that come with this tutorial to follow along. Okay, so if you start from those files, you should see that we have our list set up nicely below the navigation bar and tab bar. Also take note of how we've positioned this. Anchor to the top and positioned exactly below the navigation bar. We can add scroll to our layer like any other type of interaction. Hover over the list layer, press touch, and then since we want vertical scrolling, click on scroll Y. Our list layer is now scrollable with all the things you would expect from something scrollable, velocity, rubber banding, etc. You might have noticed though that adding scroll interaction to the layer reset its position to zero. So if we hide our navigation bar, you'll see that the list is now stuck to the very top of the screen rather than below the navigation bar by default. Also at the very bottom of the scroll, it's not taking into account that our tab bar is in the way. So this scroll should be contained above the tab bar at about here. We need to contain our list view scroll to the space between the navigation bar. So below this line and above the tab bar. So above this line here, we can do that by grouping the list and then resizing that group to fit into that space. Let's add a group by clicking on the new layer button and then clicking on group. And just make sure that your group is placed below the navigation bar and tab bar. Sometimes when I'm working on things like this, I like to add a color fill to the group just so I can see how much space it's occupying. Groups aren't visible, only their content. So that color fill is gonna sit in that group just temporarily so I can see what's going on. And I'm also just gonna re-enable that navigation bar. Okay, so a group size is the size of the screen by default. So the width is fine, but let's make the height equal this space between the two bars. That's the device height that we already have minus the two heights of the navigation bar and tab bar. So that's 64.5 and 49. I'm just reading it from the height property here. So I'm just gonna select the group layer and click on the height property and then just subtract 49 and 64.5 from that and then press return. Okay, so it looks like it's showing through slightly and that's because the group itself is still anchored to the center. Let's change that to the top since that's where we can easily measure from and then change the group's Y position to the height of the navigation bar, which was 64.5. Just to reiterate, we are anchored to the top and the Y position is 64.5. So we know that the group now starts exactly at this point. If I hover over the group, actually origami gives you another indicator of where layers are situated by the blue borders. Great, so now that our group's nicely placed, we can delete that color fill and drag our layer list inside the group. Let's give that a scroll. So the top's working fine and so is the bottom. Perfect. That's it for basic scrolling. Take a look at some of the example files to get more acquainted with the scrolling in different scenarios in Origami, as well as some different use cases for the scroll patch.